Hello world. As many of you may or may not know, I'm not just a hydroponics nerd. I'm also a computer nerd. In fact, I'm primarily a computer nerd. And with that title comes great responsibility. A responsibility to indulge my computer needs. Today I'm going to showcase uh, my little data center here that I have at the foot of my bed. <laughs> yeah, I sleep with this noise behind uh, my feet every night. Uh, this is my room. You may recognize my little hydro can area there that I was showcasing my hydro can project, which is in hiatus because of the rusting problem. I never got to solve that before it engulfed the entire thing. But uh, this is my little hand built server rack data center area. Uh, the server rack is built using uh, slightly modified plans from this website right here. I'm gonna put it right here. <coughs> um, yeah, I found those plans. I didn't want to shell out hundreds of dollars for a server rack, so I shelled out like 51 bucks for all the materials to build this one. And uh, I used the money I saved to buy slightly old used gear on eBay. <laughs> but uh, it's working and it's all good uh, well let me show you my individual pieces here at the very top here we have a uh, HP machine a ProLiant DL360 I think it's like uh, the first uh, first edition first version of it uh, this is running as my firewall. This is my firewall machine. It has two redundant 9.1 gigabyte drives. Ooh, but well, that's way more than enough to run a firewall. And if one dies, well, I got one until I back the other one up. You know, it's redundant. It's RAID 1. Alright. Next level here is my Cisco router. It's an 1841 Cisco 1841 router. It just has two, <laughs> two fast Ethernet ports. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice little machine. I've been using Cisco routers, you know, for quite a while now. Uh, right now, I am studying for CCNA, CCNP uh, certifications and whatnot. So. You know, I'm not a pro with these things, but I'm alright. I know how to configure them here and there. And then here, I have level 3, a Cisco switch. This switch is a Cisco 2950 switch, 24 ports. I have it set up at different VLANs and whatnot. Router on a stick. <laughs> you know, VLAN thing. I have this little cable here connecting it. Yes, yes indeed. And down here, I have my server. It is a Dell PowerEdge 2650 server. Uh, let me rip off the front here. With four, yes, four redundant drives. I forgot what RAID, I think RAID 5 I'm using. I could be wrong. It takes five drives, but when I bought my drives, one of them came dead. And so I just I made it and you know never bothered to get a replacement just got a refund for it so it just runs four drives well that's good enough it has like 400 some odd gigs of uh... help me rain 400 some odd gigs of uh... <laughs> storage space in it let me give a little background on the software that i'm using here for these machines If I can put the faceplate back on, that is. Oh my god, am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. Alright. <laughs> For my firewall, I'm using PFSense firewall. PFSense right somewhere around here. I'll put the link. Uh, it's a nice open source firewall. You slap it on a machine, configure it. And if you configure it correctly, it all works. For that, uh, I've got on one uh, interface coming to the router via this cable right here. Whoop. 
into the router and then from the router to the switch from the switch to my machines um, actually I've, this has been off for a while because I kind of uh, got into a little funk there with my serving and whatnot uh, but for a specific reason I brought it back up I will get into that in a moment uh, so when I'm through with all with what I'm doing right now rebuilding it I'll have my wireless router back as, as an access point on this switch so that my you know wireless machines can connect to all my wired machines la 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 and uh, and that's that for the basic topology of the network the LAN I have the modem going into another interface to the back of this here firewall and then in the back of the firewall there's another interface that goes to the DMZ which is boom my server machine here and the reason that I'm bringing this all back up is because now I'm not using Ubuntu server on this machine I'm using VMware ESXi which is running various serving platforms on this machine uh, I've been wanting to experiment with uh, virtualization so I brought this back up you know finally got the courage or whatever to go into it and check it out and it's doing me pretty well uh, I'll be studying up more so I can learn how to do more with it hopefully VLANing and whatnot so if you know anybody has any tips or tricks feel free to point me in the right direction on how I can VLAN VMware and whatnot uh, this machine right now I've got three servers running uh, two Ubuntu servers and one Windows Server 2008 server on top of an ESXi which is free I'll put a link to it right somewhere around here VMware ESXi uh, now there's my <laughs> I forgot to mention my monitor that manages all this and my keyboard that manages all this and this is the PFSense screen right here ooh don't look at my IPs <laughs> I'm just kidding I don't care uh, but that's pretty much the gist of it perhaps later on I'll put in more specific information maybe some tutorial videos as I learn and whatnot different type shits but uh, until then I guess my friends uh, that is that, and T. Raven signing out. Peace, love. Peace, love. Oh my God, I'm a liar, a liar. This ain't no damn HP. This is a compact. This is back when compact was their own people. So it's a compact. Uh. Oh, oh, I'm falling back. It's a compact ProLiant DL360. Not HP. Compact ProLiant DL360. And this is not the way to treat your machines. You do not put shit on top of your machines. Bad. Bad, T Raven. And make sure you have support for your machines in your rack. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye bye now. Hello world. As uh, many of you know or may not know, I'm just a. Blah, blah, blah. Hello world. As you may or may not know, I'm not just a hydroponics nerd. In fact, I'm not even primarily a hydroponics nerd. I'm primarily a computer nerd. Yes, indeed. The hydroponics hippie is a computer nerd. <laughs> and uh. Blah, 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 fuck. Hello world, as many of you may or may not know, I'm not just a hydroponics nerd, I'm also a computer nerd. In fact, I'm primarily a computer nerd, and with that title comes great responsibility. A responsibility to indulge, indulge, blah, 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 fuck! <laughs>